All right, for part A, to evaluate f of negative one, this says that our input is negative one. Um, so along our input axis, the horizontal axis, we find negative one, which is right here. And we find the corresponding point on the curve. And then we connect that to the output axis. And we see that f of negative one has an output of negative one as well. For part B, uh, we're now trying to find an input. Okay, f of x, we need to equal zero. So we find what input gives an output of zero. So an output of zero is down here, and we move along the input axis, find any points that are on that axis. So we've got one there at negative two, and one there at positive one. So this is true for x equals negative two, and for x equals positive one. For our domain and range, we need to find the um, all the possible inputs and all the possible outputs. So for our domain, we find the point furthest to the left and the right of the curve. So assuming we see all the points here, our furthest left point is there, and our furthest right point is there. And then we just find the corresponding input, so we'll draw a line up there to connect there, and then down from that point. And uh, so our far left point, if we just estimate that, looks like it's about negative 3.2. And our far right point looks like that's about 1.4. And these are just estimates. You'll notice I'm using here square brackets, because square brackets mean that I include that endpoint. And so I am allowed to plug in negative 3.2, and I am allowed to plug in uh, 1.4. For our range, we do the exact same thing, but we look at the highest and lowest points, which happen to be the same uh, for this example. So I take those points and I draw the connection over to the output axis, highest and lowest points, and, uh, and I just want to estimate those values. Looks like this lowest uh, value is about a negative 3.2 again. And looks like this highest value is right around 2.4. Okay, and for part D, to find when our function is decreasing, we move from left to right um, along this curve. And from left to right, we're here, we're going up, so that's increasing. And then right at the peak, that's when we start to decrease, kind of going downhill here. So that's decreasing right up until right there. And so we're decreasing starting at uh, negative 2 and then uh, ending right there at uh, this input value, which is 0. You'll notice that I have parentheses here uh, for intervals of increasing and decreasing. Uh, we don't include the endpoints. Um, in those because this point really isn't either part of the downhill or the or the uphill.